Hey, good morning, fellas. It's Sunday, August 7th. And we're about that. And let's turn this off. And we're gonna, on our way to about 106, they said today. So, yeah, I took it out. Took it out yesterday. Me and my son Patrick did. And, uh, looks like the ground wire got fried. But again, this is uh, a really rinky dink setup because you can see gas up there was splashing out. These holes aren't properly sealed. As you can see, this plate. Later on, I'm going to disconnect the pump from here. And I'm just going to run two leads and see if I get the pump to work. But uh, definitely. I could go and just get another pump and uh, replace the pump here and just be done with it. But I definitely don't like the setup and not being sealed. You can see where gas has splashed up in here around because this isn't sealed. As you can turn around, you can see not really sealed. So. Uh, tank itself looks pretty clean and it does have a, a, a pump well right in here that I don't know if you can make it out you can see the side of the well but <clears throat> you know one of the strips came off right there and it was stuck to the bottom of the car but still I don't like this setup and I'm surprised. Wonder why this did. So I've been looking at uh, Tanks Inc. and was it Aero Tank? I can't remember. Two of them. And uh, I guess in the long run, going cheap to get the car going, it wasn't the way to go because the, that definitely wasn't a long haul fix. Not when I can get crap in my fuel system and it wasn't really a sealed fuel system as, as you can see evident from here of it sitting there going so uh, but I got uh, found their websites and uh, I texted them or sent not texted but sent them an email asking a few questions and everything else but uh, yeah so uh, so we'll see what they say. Uh, hopefully I get something back on Monday from them. Uh, I'm still going to do some other research. Anybody knows of anybody, uh, I think it was Rick Stainless Steel Tanks or something like that I saw. But uh, if anybody knows any other uh, tank, aftermarket tank manufacturer, uh, comment on this video for me and give me their email address. But uh, yeah, with this not being really sealed, Here's the ring. I don't even know who made this, but again, like I said, it's, this is a standard pump. You can sit there and pull this off and just replace it. But uh, I don't, I'm not looking to do that, I don't think. I don't like the, the setup. None of that I've gotten it apart. But uh, we'll see, get a couple of prices from these guys. Uh, Aero Tank had their, uh, what is it, I've got the zero clearance or zero whatever tank. Uh, the complete setup was for almost $1,000. So, or Aero, Aero Tank, I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, I looked at both those websites and I gave them both emails asking them questions. But, uh We'll do this. We're going to keep working on the car. I mean, we got this panel yet to sit there and to keep plugging away on. Uh, I got to take care of this vent. Too bad I can't spray unless I want to cover the car here. In here. I'd like to get the car out of here when I do spray. So, uh, 
we'll see. I got a trip later on this month to Colorado uh, to go watch the Cubs play the Rockies, and we're going to do a weekend of it. Uh, me, my youngest son Patrick, and my wife, uh, like a mini vacation. Uh, we were going to the Coors, Bre Coors Brewery in Golden, Colorado, so maybe I'll bring the camera along and let you guys look at that. But uh, I probably start the body work on that and uh, wait for emails back from the tanks and like I said anybody else has any uh, any other tank manufacturer aftermarket tank manufacturer out there uh, comment give me the uh, email address on this video and uh, we will uh, contact them uh, tanks Inc. look to be about the best bang for the buck and again I'm learning that don't go cheap because it's it's see I went cheap on the radiator support and uh, that got me nowhere and I went cheap on this fuel tank and that got me nowhere so yeah I wonder what caused that that plugged in right up there Let's see right there so Lucky the car didn't probably catch fire. But that's it. And I'm going to shut this off before I start babbling and I'll load it up. But uh, yeah, uh, definitely going to go for another tank. I'm not going to keep this set up. So I think I said that already too. So you guys enjoy your Sunday. Uh, <clears throat> On Monday, there was a little screw up with Gary at Ramsey Customs on the panel. That left last Monday, and, uh, and Gary should, should have had it by Friday, but he gave me the wrong zip code. And so now we got the zip code straightened out and it'll get delivered on Monday, so we'll get that taken care of. When that gets back, I'm going to probably have to have it powder coated. And. Uh, trying to figure out whether to have a powder coated Chevy orange like a couple of things are in the front of this engine or uh, or gray the way it was uh, we'll we'll figure that out when it gets here see other than that I can work on the panel I can work on a few other things on the car and uh, we're going to keep plugging away uh, I think when I wire it back up though I'm going to wire it up different I am going to uh, put a toggle on the on the dash and uh, rather than going through the, the board and the relay uh, I don't know but it seems awful funny unless this thing put shorted out but I can't even find a manufacturer's name on this thing and I plan on taking it apart taking the pump off to see but that looks like a standard GM pump that I've seen on a lot of uh, maybe Anthony can tell me but that definitely looks like the same pump I had to replace on my uh, 91 Camaro so but uh, that's it for now guys I'm starting to babble and just carry on so uh, we got the tank and uh, we'll be looking at others to sit there and get a replacement but I want a sealed unit and as you can see by the discoloration up here, this was not a sealed unit. So, you guys have a good Sunday. Uh, thanks for uh, watching, commenting, and subscribing. Take care, guys.